firsthand experience in editorial production, right from copy editing manuscripts to running different aspects of publication. Researchers are highly involved in conducting science and know very little about the publication process. So can you share some key points that researchers should know about journals, societies, and publishers? Uh, sure. Uh, so generally, uh, oftentimes a journal is editorially independent from its organization or its own, its whoever owns that publication, and that's just because you, you need to have that uh, freedom to publish what the research is without um, sort of interests coming in and maybe interfering with that. So that's an important component. Um, I think um, it's it's important for authors to understand that production and the editorial process is is not a, sort of a switch that you turn on and off and although that we are publishing online it is not something that's just um, instantaneous it's not like pushing print on a printer etc it's a, it requires a great deal of people actually a lot of coordination um, so that's, you know, sort of one of those things behind the scenes that people don't realize how many people are actually involved and how many people actually touch this manuscript before it ever sees um, publication. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of uh, ethical type of issues that authors need to be aware of too. And um, one of those is just authorship in general. Um, who, who, are, who, who is eligible to be an author? You know, I think authors it would, be, uh, would be advised to have a good to to communicate with their colleagues to make sure that everybody's on the same page and in agreement on who is going to be an author of papers. I think that's something that we see fairly frequently. A little bit of confusion around that, and and really, authors authors need to be aware that by being an author on a paper, you are saying that you are going to be accountable for what is in that paper publicly forever and ever. So it's a very important, serious obligation that you're undertaking. It's not just reading someone's draft or whatever. So what I like to encourage authors to is to really uh, put their best effort into something at the time they have it. So often what I find is authors seem to think that there will always be another chance, another opportunity to fix something before it goes into publishing and at publication. That's actually not true. And what I like to encourage authors to do is it, it may be difficult, it might be a task that you don't want to do, you want to avoid it because it's not fun, but really when you have that page proof in front of you, or actually even better, when you have that Microsoft Word document or whatever you're working on in front of you, before you even submit it to the journal, take the time, share it with your colleagues, make sure everybody's given it a very good close look um, and has signed off on it before you even submit it to the journal because um, as it moves through production, there's less and less time to correct whatever may be um, incorrect. And uh, the, worst, the worst thing to happen is when we're actually about to publish out of print or print and someone calls and they found an error in their paper after having seen it so many times. And, um, you know, and it's human nature and you understand this and stuff, but it's sort of something that I like to tell authors or, and even myself, you know, when you have something in front of you, you give it your full attention and make sure it's, it's correct as you can make it at that time.